Let's do an example that involves using our sum or difference formulas of sine, also involving inverses of some numbers that are just more general, such as u and v. For example, let's say I have the sine of the inverse sine of some number u plus inverse tangent of some number v. Assuming that u and v are in the proper domains, we'll assume that both of these are defined. Inverses are just angles, so I'm going to call the first inverse alpha and the second one beta. So really this is just sine of alpha plus beta. So at this point, again assuming that u and v are in the domain of inverse sine and inverse tangent, by the definitions of inverses, for alpha, the sine of alpha would be u, and the tangent of beta would be v. So now I'm going to draw the triangles, one for alpha and one for beta. So treating sine of opposite over hypotenuse, u is technically u over 1, and v is technically v over 1. So then the opposite would be u, hypotenuse would be 1. So then to figure out the adjacent side, it's just going to be whatever that is squared plus u squared is 1 squared. So then solving for that, it would be 1 squared minus u squared, and then square root of that. So 1 minus u squared. For beta, it's kind of the same idea. This time it's tangent though, so opposite over adjacent. To figure out the missing side, it would be 1 squared plus v squared equals the missing side squared. So then square root of 1 squared plus v squared, or 1 plus v squared. So now that I have my triangles, I have all the sides filled in, I'm going to rewrite this problem as the sine of alpha plus beta, and then expand that out using the sum formula for sine. So sine, cosine, cosine, sine, keep the sine, which is plus. So sine alpha, cosine beta, plus cosine alpha, sine beta. Okay, from our pictures, we can fill all of this in. So the sine of alpha was u over 1, which is what we started with. Cosine of beta is going to be 1 over the square root of 1 plus v squared. Cosine of alpha is square root, square root of 1 minus u squared over 1. And then sine of beta, opposite over hypotenuse, so v over square root of 1 plus v squared. Okay, so if we take a look at this, we have a common denominator of the square root of 1 plus v squared. So we end up with u plus v times square root of 1 minus u squared. I'm just going to leave it like that. Uh, you could choose to rationalize it, but that's fine.